Hello and welcome to our Cyton Report weekly segment with me, Jeb Kwaich Kandagor. This week we are looking at Karen as a real estate investment opportunity and joining me in studio for this discussion today is Washum Bogoa, an assistant research analyst at Cyton Investment. Welcome Washum. Thank you. Can you briefly give us a highlight of the key factors that make Karen an attractive investment opportunity? Karen is one of the few affluent neighborhoods we have in um, Nairobi. Uh, others are Runda, Kitisuru, and Lokabete and Roslyn. Uh, so uh, recently we have seen Karen um, get more real estate developments. Some of the few factors that have contributed to uh, the real estate growth in Karen uh, are its transport network. When you compare it to these other high-end areas, Karen's uh, transport and access routes are really good. Um, and also the fact that it has, it's generally a very serene environment and the fact that it has managed to keep its zoning regulations so low, uh, making it exclusive and still serene when you compare it to other neighborhoods that have seen uh, more high-rise developments coming up so Karen has managed to keep its uh, restricted uh, zoning regulations. Karen has shopping malls, uh, facilities, nature trails, nature parks uh, like the giraffe center so and these are the factors that um, are appealing to wealthy individuals who buy houses in Karen and the fact that it also hosts um, Many of uh, the international schools we have in Nairobi, uh, when we're talking of Brookhouse and James Cam Cambridge and Hillcrest, yeah. So until now, how has the real estate market been performing in the area? Real estate, we can say it starts with land. Uh, land in Karen is relatively affordable in Nairobi when you compare to Nairobi prices and those are the high-end areas. So it's relatively affordable for developers, yeah. And uh, we have seen uh, more residential communities coming up and malls and offices. And residential, generally the real estate sector performed better than the overall Nairobi market. So for example, the high-end residential communities, they registered average total returns of 8.8%. Uh, and this is compared to other neighborhoods, the high-end neighborhoods, which, which had an average of 6.4%. And um, we see like five bedroom units in Karen, the residential homes, registering a relatively high annual uptake. Uh, as of December, the average uptake of five bedroom in five bedroom units in Karen was about 27.6 percent, and this is compared to other uh, other developments in these other high end areas whose average was about 24%. Uh, when it comes to commercial office, uh, it also performed better than the overall Nairobi market uh, with average rent yields of 9.2% compared to the Nairobi market average uh, with eight point, which had 8.1% rent yields. And the higher the rent yields, it means the higher the occupancy rates. So it generally shows that occupancy rates in current are high compared to these other areas in Nairobi. When it comes to the retail market, uh, Karen still performed better than the overall Nairobi market with average rent yields of 11% uh, compared to the overall Nairobi market with 9%. And again, even in the retail sector, the higher the rent yields, it means the higher the occupancy rates. So generally, malls in Karen have a higher tenant occupancy compared to uh, the overall gen Nairobi market. Okay, so we can see that Karen has a relatively good performance. Yeah. What did you say is the investment opportunity in 2019 in the area? It has its niche and selected markets for opportunity for investment opportunities. So in residential, as I mentioned, uh, five bedroom units posted relatively high annual uptake and even uh, average total returns to uh, to investors, which averaged at. 10.9 percent uh, compared to the market to the whole current average of market average of 8.8 percent so in residential we would say the uh, the investment opportunity is in five bedroom units and then when you look at the sub markets within current we have uh, different locations we have 
those estates that are along um, Gong Road, estates along Dangata Road, areas like um, Karen Hardy and Windy Ridge and Newtony. So when you look at those sub-markets, uh, the investment opportunity would be in areas like Newtony and also areas uh, along Dangata Road uh, because they posted relatively high returns of up to 13.7% when you look at the sub-markets and also relatively high um, market uptake. Uh, so we would say the investment opportunities in five bedroom units in those areas uh, like Mutoni and areas along Langata Road. Uh, when it comes to commercial office, uh, the investment opportunity is in um, World Secret A offices because they have uh, a low market share uh, averaging at 29%, that is compared to, so the rest is taken up by grade B and grade C offices. And then uh, of late we've seen uh, high-end firms or top-notch clients uh, moving from your conventional office nodes such as the CBD and Upper Hill to more exclusive environments such as Karen. So in office, the investment opportunity would be in grade A offices and then in differentiated concepts. So the developer would be should be prudent enough to have a differentiated concept but within the grade A niche. Uh, for retail market the investment opportunity would be in neighborhood malls uh, so these are those compact uh, malls that are not so huge uh, because they registered uh, relatively high occupancy rates averaging at 98 percent and also um, relatively high rental yields of up to 12%. So in retail market, the investment opportunity is in neighborhood, neighborhood malls. For retail market, the investment opportunity uh, is in neighborhood malls because they registered uh, high rental yields and high occupancy rates. But then again, for retail, uh, we are saying that an increase in retail space as it is right now might hamper its performance. So it's um, enough as it is right now with the malls, the five malls that are there. We have the recently opened uh, Karen Waterfront and we have another incoming called The Wells. So we're saying that an increase in retail space might actually hamper the occupancy rates and definitely the rental yields. Mm -hmm. But um, if an investor seeks to um, invest in the retail space in Karen, they should definitely go to neighborhood malls. Well, we've come to the end of our discussion. Thank you for joining us today. Dear viewer, thank you very much for joining us today and we hope that you've gotten great insights about Karen and you're ready to make your investment in that area. Until next time, kwaheri.